Hello, Dana. A mutual friend of ours referred me to you. I'm told you're an EVM expert. Can you help me out with EVM basics? I would be happy to. First, let me say that EVM is not complicated. It's a lot like the phrase, plan the work and then work the plan. EVM requires one to build a plan first and execute the project according to that plan. You can think of a flight plan. The pilot charts a course from point A to point B and knows the altitude and speed she must maintain to get there. If she were to get off that flight plan, the aircraft instrumentation will alert her. Then she can take corrective actions. For a project, EVM is that instrumentation. It is only if you know that you veered from the plan that you can try to figure out how to get back on it. Now that's something I can understand. You're saying that in order to use EVM to manage any project, first you must have a plan. You better believe it. You talked about a flight plan. What other scenarios can benefit from EVM? EVM is a great management tool for any project. Years ago, well before I had even heard of EVM, I hired a contractor to build a house. When the house was finally ready, it had cost me more money than I originally thought and took longer than I thought it would. I could have prevented these problems had I known the basic principles of EVM. How so? Well, I did not know the plan well, so I could not gauge the contractor's performance as the house was being constructed. You've really driven the point home that in order to use EVM as a project management tool, you must have a plan first. 